What's up, Ashley Outrageous? We're here with Kirk Knight of Pro Era. We're in the studio. Um, introduce yourself. Tell people what up. Well, Kirk Knight, Pro Era, Beast Coast. I'm a rapper and producer. So you're a rapper and producer. Which one did you do first? I so I produced first, and then I started rapping because like all the pros were rapping. I always had. I always had like a knack for freestyle and I know how to freestyle really good. Mm -hmm. But I just never knew how to like write it out. Like I just knew that when the words came in the head I could say it like in the moment but not write it. Now, so you're young, you said you're 17, right? Yeah. So when did you actually start producing? I started when I was like 15. Oh, so you're still new at this. Yeah, I'm mad new at this. I just, I'm, I don't know, I just got like a talent for it, I guess. Okay. Um, were you influenced by like anyone in your family to get into this? No. No. It kind of was just out of the blue. Like I just, I don't know. I just always liked melodies and music in general. Like I, like I don't know how to play any instruments either. I just, oh wow. I just know how to just play it. So, so you're self-taught. Yeah. Um, tell us about the first time that you made a beat. Then, like, what urged you to put something right, together? So it's it's two different though. There was a, the first time I actually made like a, a beat on a program was like it was like we asked me how I feel at the moment. Yeah, like when tell us about the first time. Yeah, like you made. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, no, nah, it was it was like a, the the way it happened was Joey actually told me to start um, producing on program because I used to be on the tape for him when he used to rap in middle school because I knew. Oh, lunch table raps. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's the one I knew how to make beats. And then he was just like, yo, you should take it to a program. And that's when I used FL Studio and I made my first beat. Is that's that it. Fruity Loops? Yeah. I swear everyone starts out on Fruity Loops. Nah, it's right? kind of like, yeah, that's kind of like the thing to start off with. You go yeah. on FL Studio and then like you evolve where you just stay there and um, keep making fire on FL Studio, whichever way. Okay. So the first beat that you made, did it suck or was it good? Oh, I <laughs> yeah, it did suck. It, it was kind of like all off sequence and shit. Like if I had, it's on my old Dell, but I got a new Mac and shit. But um, old Dell throwback. Yeah, it was the super <laughs> throwback. That beat was really off sequence and shit. Oh man. Okay. So, so you made your first beat, Fruity Loops. So was it that you just started spending hours in the day just messing yeah. with the program and teaching yourself? It was like it was like this two summers I just spent straight on making beats. That's it. Like and like I, I I tried so hard not to go to summer school because it was like I was never like a dumb kid. I got A's and B's and yeah, mostly A's and B's. But it was just that like. I was a doubtful kid, mm -hmm. so it's like even though my grades was like superb, I was always had the back of my mind. I was like, what if something just fucks up and I go to summer school and this shit? I don't know, it's some weird shit. But every that, those two summers though, I know I spent a lot of time making beats. I was trying to find out like how what sounds right with which and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But, and then you just started to rap over your own stuff and give it to the rest of the crews with Joey yeah. and everyone else involved. Yeah, the person who inspired me the most to start rapping was Steez. And Joey, Joey kind of always did, but then Steez was like, I was like, nah, okay, I gotta start or something. Because I know the freestyle man that good, so I might as well just try yeah. to write it on paper. It shouldn't be that much. So, okay, so you're, you're still very new at this, but now you're a part of this, you know, this pro era crew who is one of the you know most emerging rap crews out of New York right now and you're all pretty young yeah. so how, how does that make you feel did you ever think that you would be here no I ain't gonna front I I really love chemistry so I thought I was gonna be a chemist oh wow so it's really kind of just the direct the lane that I took just kind of sometimes it doesn't make sense to me because I'm like I used to really love chemistry like I had a 90 Eight on the regions. Wow. Love chemistry. You know, Ninety or some somewhere around there. And um, yeah. I mean, so what you you're saying that you love chemistry. So what was that point for you when you like decided 
okay, I'm gonna do this music thing and not chemistry. It's, it's honest, honestly, it was like a thought before, but recently it made me feel like, all right, music is my life. This is what I need to do. It's happened to me recently, but what made me say like, well, let me try this music thing was when the whole pro era idea was like presented to me. Mm. Like, I remember that day, it was me, it was Joey, Joey hit me on the PS3 because that's how we used to talk. And then he told me, he was like, yo, come through to my crib, send me the address and stuff. And I went to his house and it was Steve's there. Mm -hmm. It was just me, Joey, and Steve's. So then I played Steve some of my, my shit and then he was just like, he was like, where, where is that dope? And, and, and then like, they didn't tell me about Pro Area yet. It was just okay. that I was, at the time, I was supposed to be making Joey's own mixtape when it was like New Kid on the Block. It was mad long ago, so then it's just like... This is before that 1999. Yeah, this is before okay. 99 was like, you know, and like, so basically that night I came home, I think I was on the phone with Joey and he was just telling me about the whole Pro Area thing and then like how they wanted me to be down with it and I was just extremely happy and I was like, all right, so I'm a child music, you know, and then recently, because we were touring so much, like going around overseas and stuff, it made me realize that I could actually make a living off of music and it's like bypassed the like the modern day standards of what being successful is. Wow. So. That's inspiring. I mean, yeah. that's awesome to hear. So, I mean, like now, now that you're in it, like who are who are some producers now that have inspired you and you know. You wanna either work with them or you know or do something even better than them. Ooh, let's see. I have to say, of course, Chuck Strange is that's like it's my brother, he told me a lot. Um Lee Dan and uh Travis Scott. Yeah, Travis uh Joe. Hit Boy. Um let see, I'm trying to come right off the dome with this. I recently found out about mathematics. Who made Mighty Healthy for Ghostface? Oh wow! I would just love to meet him. Like that beat is amazing. Like I love that beat. Um, let me see Kanye, of course. Uh, yeah, this is this is all that yeah. is coming to mind. There's a there's a lot of options. There's a lot, out there. yeah, there's there's a lot, a lot of, of options. Good oh, Mad Lib, Jay. I would love if I could if if I could just meet Jay Dill, like just learn from him for one day. That would be amazing. Jobbies. So, Jay Dilla is definitely one of your like top inspirations. Yeah, definitely. New Jay Dilla, Madden, Oblin. Okay. So, I mean, so you also rap and you produce your own stuff. You produce for Pro Era. Do you plan to produce for any other artists, you know, outside of like your guys' circle? Yeah, definitely. Oh, and Alchemist. I had to add that in. Oh, Alchemist is a good choice. The one right like this big one right there. Um, and uh, I recently, oh, uh, before I sent beats to Bronson. Okay. And Bronson's good friends. Uh, fuck with Bronson. Just, I like his music a lot. And stuff, so yeah, probably. And whatever, whoever like wants beats or like whatever. Like, yeah. It doesn't matter to me. So you don't have a beat tape out. Do you no. plan to do one? Yes, I definitely plan to do one. Now, how do you feel about beat tapes? Because producers are weird. Sometimes, you know, they put out beat tapes and they're like, hey, here it is, you know, do what you want with it. Other producers, they put it out and they're like, this is just my music, just listen to it, don't rap over it. See, the thing with me is I want to have, I want to make beats for rappers to rap on and also to put out just for the fact that I want to be able to be that producer in like 50 years from now when then another inspiring like Joey Badass or something like that comes out at a young age and he raps over my beats and becomes famous because of that, that that's just like, that's going to boost mine. That's just going to be like the most amazing feeling because then I'll be like, I, I, I made like beats that's up to the standards to be remembered for generations. You know? Yeah. So that's like, that's what I Okay. Now, so we're looking forward to that, the beat tape. Yeah. Um, are you coming out with something of your own solo work of your rapping? Yeah, and it's gonna be open to me. It's like okay. it's kind of like a little mysterious because a lot of people just like they love like they love my music and stuff like that. But I don't really have anything out. It's kind of like a mysterious with me because I don't know how I got like a strong fan base. And I don't really have yeah. Out. Now, as far as like your sound, um, since you are so pretty new in this, do you still? I mean, do you feel that you're still finding it, or that like you've kind of 
got it down. Nah, I've got it down. It's just the fact of making a sound that is unheard of. Like, I, my sound is already unheard of. I just can't wait until the like, music starts to drop and stuff. But it's like, when you're a perfectionist, you push yourself day, day in, day out just to make that next sound that's gonna be like trademarked for you. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people, a lot of people can make beats. You can make boom bad beats and make trap beats. It doesn't matter which is which. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's making that sound that is like just a little bit different. That people just be like, oh, well, Kirk, he was a little bit different when he was coming out. Like, you know, yeah. I feel like I got it now, but. And you want people to be like when they hear something, even if it's for the first time, so they have no idea who produced it. They want to be like, that sounds like a Kirk Knight production. Exactly. Kind of like how you know um, Alchemist. You can tell. Yeah, you can tell. Something. It's an owl. I know what it's an owl beat. Like, yeah. That's basically what it is, and it's like, but the thing, the the fucked up thing about it is, you'll never know till you drop. It's like, that's the thing. Like you could just sit at home with all the music, sounds amazing and ponder all day, day in, day out about like, oh, is this, this is gonna be the next, and you'll never know until you drop it. So yeah. it's like, that was just based on me, if I should just drop it, so like, it's like, when I drop it, then. You I, should I, just drop it. Yeah, I know, Just right? drop it. She said, like, <laughs> like, just, just drop, drop it. it. Just go ahead. Everybody's waiting. Yeah. Right? So I mean, so now, you know, you're doing your thing, you're gonna come out with your own project, um, you're not on Fruity Loops anymore, yeah. right? You're, yeah, you step the game up, you're doing your thing, so I mean, what what can people expect next from you for, you know, the rest of the year or 2014? Well, not 2015 is gonna be amazing, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> It's like yeah, you seem excited right now. Nah, it's, I'm so know. excited <laughs> for, for <laughs> you know what it is. It's like winter is for like Brooklyn cats, like especially me. It's like winter time is grind season. That's when you get everything straight. You grind all winter, shine all summer. So it's like not in a ter not so literal to the term, but it's like right now it's just the grind season to make sure everything a and together ready to go. So whenever you decide to be like. All right, time to take over the game. It's like you can just send out missiles whenever you want. Like, yeah. Drop here, there. Got the connection to this. This interview, that. Like you know. So it's like all, all with planning. That's why I'm taking my time. So anything that I need to do that I feel like I need to do that will help my career. I can mm -hmm. do in like a split second instead of waiting for somebody else's. Yeah. Like you know. So. Okay. Well, you seem very excited. I'm so excited. I'm. I'm looking forward to see what's going to come out. We need the beat tape soon with yeah. some accompanying visuals. Yeah. Um. So it's Kirk Knight checking in with the B Suite on AshleyOutrageous.com.